Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days in five minutes as we embark on what I think is going to probably wind up being the best weekend of the summer. We have one more day to get through and that's today before another cold front goes by. And with it, there could be a pop-up shower or thunderstorm this afternoon scattered around and then maybe another scattered shower or thunderstorm this evening as the cold front comes through. And I think then we're basically done uh, through the weekend uh, until the next uh, weather system approaches on Monday. By the way, very quickly, if you have my free weather app and you have an Android device, an update has been pushed through and you'll know it by uh, when you click on the local tab to get your uh, current weather conditions and forecast for your particular location, it should default to your location. You don't have to go in each time anymore. So if it's doing that, great. If it's not doing that, then you need to either update the app or worse comes to worse, you can delete it and then reinstall it and it should have the new update. The uh, updates for the iPhone hopefully will come uh, anytime, just waiting for Apple to put it on through. All right, let's check out where we're going weather-wise today. And with another front approaching, the humidity today is still a bit on the high side, but yesterday's Cold front and severe weather kind of took a lot of the juice out of the atmosphere, so there really isn't a whole lot for this front to work on. So we're looking at high temperatures that are going to be pretty warm, mostly middle to upper 80s with a few isolated 90 degree readings from Northeast Virginia up into Southern New England. Temperatures will be a little bit lower as you go further north, a little bit higher as you go further south. But overall, and from the standpoint of temperatures, it's about where we should be for this time of year. And then we're going to start to see the temperatures and the dew points trend lower Friday through Sunday. We're looking at mostly low and middle 80s for Friday, maybe a little bit warmer as you get down into Maryland and Virginia, but from South Central to Southeastern Pennsylvania, and then on up through New Jersey and into Southern New England, it's mostly uh, in a range of about 80 to 85. Saturday, I think is going to be Terrific, very low humidity. The humidity is going to hit bottom. And that low humidity, by the way, goes all the way down into Virginia. So everybody's going to participate in this. You can see the highs are mostly in the low 80s with even uh, upper 70s across the middle and upper 70s across the Hudson Valley in northeastern Pennsylvania. Sunday, uh, maybe a touch higher, upper 70s to a few middle 80s, but still comfortable humidity. Turns a little more humid on Monday, but we've got another cold front coming through that's going to bring a quick shot of dry air Monday night into Tuesday. So we're looking at middle to upper 80s on Monday. And then for Tuesday, we come back down, back into a range of about 80 to 85. But what's uh, happening is uh, when we uh, take a look at the uh, weather models, it's a fairly straightforward situation here uh, for today. Uh, this next weather front is going to come on through, and you can see it here on the GFS. It's hard to find uh, the uh, showers and storms uh, that are uh, going to be developing across western Pennsylvania and western New York. There might be some severe weather risk here, but notice as we go through the day, those uh, showers and storms basically disappear. So we're just going to allow for a few pop-ups, and then it's a northwest flow. There might be a couple of weak disturbances moving in that flow that will produce a few clouds from time to time in some places. I think the best chances for that are as you go uh, further to the north, the northeastern Pennsylvania to northern New Jersey into southern New England. Maybe you get a few patchy clouds from time to time. But Saturday looks great. We've got a nice high building in for, for the weekend. Uh, the uh, dry air mass uh, from Canada doing its thing. And then come uh, Sunday night into Monday, we've got another week front approaching. You can see it with those showers Sunday evening in Western New York, uh, few and far between. Those showers fall apart as the front comes through uh, during Monday, and then it keeps on going. After that, we've got another high building in briefly, but then we're gonna be watching a wave coming eastward across Ohio and into Pennsylvania and New York, late Tuesday, Tuesday night into early Wednesday. And this might be, our next chance for showers and thunderstorms and the model's fairly bullish here so uh, i think uh, there's a possibility that we could see some severe weather out of this as far as the uh, tropics are concerned no issues there no tropical cyclones forecast for the next five days you can see the action on the satellite view 
uh, the uh, weather fronts here that uh, have gone gone by. The first one's offshore. The next one's coming. And again, lots of energy was we had with this, with that widespread severe weather outbreak yesterday, but very little going on uh, for uh, today. And as far as the radars are concerned this morning, there really isn't too much happening. We've got that activity up in northern New England, left over from yesterday's system, uh, some heavy showers and storms out through parts of the plains and a little bit of activity in, around, in and around the Great Lakes. So it's uh, fairly straightforward and easy going forward after we get through today. Just watch for a pop-up storm or two late this afternoon, uh, mid to late afternoon in a couple of spots. And then for this evening, maybe when that front goes by, there might be a shower or storm with that. But I really think the chances of getting anything from the front look pretty low. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Uh, enjoy uh, your Thursday, be safe, and we will see you tomorrow right here on Weather in 5.